What's old is new again. I bought this 1977 issue of McCall's Needlework and Crafts at the thrift store and I am just shocked at how many of the projects in it look so similar to new projects. And I love these. So I thought we would flip through and see what you'd like to make. These are Busilla stitchery kits and pretty much every one of them is something I would like to stitch. Now that's no surprise because I collect old needlework kits. Look at the granddaughter clock. Now think of that the Riola's cuckoo clock I'm stitching. Lots of latch hook. So much latch hook. And more Busilla kits. Oh look at the calendar that's a grandfather clock. I like that. And those sequined felt kits are nothing new. They've been around for a long time. I am almost positive that I have the McCall's Great American Recipe card collection. If it is not this one, it is something very, very similar. I'm going to have to dig mine out to see if it's got that Bicentennial Eagle on it. The knitting has not aged as well. Make a week's pay recycling junk furniture. And if I read this right... It says that they are going to send you an ottoman, a chair, and everything you need. I would love to see what you got when you sent out for that free information. Got Peter Rabbit. I was just doing a video about Peter Rabbit cross stitch. And Quilters Newsletter Magazine. I've got so many back issues of that and have made so many quilts. The ads are fun. Here's the Double Day Book Club, and this is when Stephen King's The Shining raised the Titanic. DMC, 230 years ago, it was the best you could buy. Some things never change. And 50 years later. <laughs> Look at these latch hook kits, especially that rug with, I don't think he's a conquistador, but the guy with the sword. I can't latch hook. Dritz made stools for you to mount your needlework on, and it says in the description that there is a turtle stool. Is the turtle stool that I picked up at an estate sale years ago the Dritz one? I looked online and I can't find confirmation. More Jiffy stitching. I've actually done that little needlepoint kit. It was a thrift store find lots of years ago. Covered buttons, more sunset stitchery. Again, I would stitch almost every last one of these. More latch hook. Look at these. Look at the Alice in Wonderland. These are Reynolds Yarn and Needlecraft. That is not a company I am familiar with, but I would love to find some of those. Somebody in my childhood had this owl. Somebody or multiple somebodies. Lots and lots of dollhouse patterns. Mary Maxim. More rugs. How many rugs were people making in the 70s? I know I did one latch hook kit as a kid. And I got one for my own children years later and could not figure it out to save my life. Most of this is ads. So much of this is ads. There's liquid embroidery. But... The patterns in the magazine, a sad amount of them need you to send away for the iron-on transfer. So if you are shopping for old magazines, the pattern might not be in here. Okay, open your own profitable yarn and needle craft shop. I would love to see the catalog you got if you sent away for this. If anybody got one, let me know. And then there are a lot of sweaters which have aged poorly. Look at the baby swing. Okay, we're not going to talk about safety. We're going to talk about the possibility of reproducing that in 112th scale for a dollhouse. Because you could do that. These are transfer patterns. Plants, wildlife, scented hummel kid candles. Some really pretty quilt patterns to send away for. And then this is making friends with trichem is nice. Making money is terrific. It looks like you could only get it from representatives. This is the stuff my great grandma used to use. And I have some that for a couple of years now I've been planning on making a video about. I'm going to get there. 
lots of dollhouse kits. And this one, it's interesting. They say these are not dollhouse furniture. These are to be displayed on your mantle or sideboard, I think it said. I've got some of these kits. I found them. At, I don't remember where I found them. I think I've got the McCall's Needlework Treasury. Now I want to dig into my sewing room bookshelf and see. Quilt World is one of my favorite old quilting magazines. I know I have some of these issues. And look at the dolls. These are in the book, as best I can tell. The embroidery ones you have to send away for the pattern. And the pilgrims. And these are made out of rickrack, which I don't understand. I like the plain and little car and the little Hawaiian girls. I saw some of these in a thrift store, oh, probably a year ago. It's been a while. You can make $75 to $12,000 profit selling candy. Oh, and Erica Wilson, more Beatrix Potter. I've talked about several of her needlework books here on the channel. Mod Podge. Again, what's old is new again. Blackwork Pattern. That one is in the book. I think it said that this is a quilt is in the book, but I'm betting that's an iron on. Look at that. I think that some of these are you could send away for the embroidery or figure it out from the enlarge it yourself chart in the back. That is a bold statement right there. And look at these are little miniature Christmas dioramas in picture frames. And Sweet Yesterday. I can't tell if that's cross stitch or needlepoint. And if the background is embroidered, and I'm going to have to. Nope, use our easy iron on transfer pattern to order. Dang. Ducks dyed corn husks to make flowers. I don't think I have seen that particular craft before. Have you? Those wonderful romantic peasants and the royal Egyptians. These are in the book and this would have been about a year before the King Tut exhibit started traveling. We saw it when it was in Seattle so that is deeply enmeshed in my childhood memories. This street scene is what convinced me to buy the magazine in the first place because it was more than I wanted to spend on a 50-year-old needlework magazine. And I hoped it was embroidery, but it was painting on tile. Now, my disappointment is silly because that's a line drawing. I can totally blow it up and embroider it. There's no reason to be disappointed, but I'm curious, have you ever enlarged one of these pictures with the grid the way they used to do it before we all had copy machines. It seems overwhelming to me. Part of me almost wants to try it just to see what I come out with. And then there's Fabu Print, a paper that irons on in color permanently. Which makes me think of the crickets and all of the different ways we have of accomplishing the same thing. Look at the lion. He is cute and that pattern is in there. Look at the sewing box. Look at the spools. I want that or some variation of that. Little tilt top table. I almost bought one of those last summer, but it was too far to carry it back to the car. The macrame tabletop intrigues me. Macrame is hot again, isn't it? or so I've heard. More latch hook. These actually have patterns here, so you could, if you were so inclined, cross stitch them. And, okay, do I want to cross stitch the barnscape? Shall I add it to the endless list of things I want to someday do? Classic pewter dinnerware, artfully reproduced in pewteloy metal. I am so intrigued by these because I love the bicentennial reproduction colonial stuff. If you see the bed plan I found at the thrift store, it's that same idea. If anybody had these or had a grandma who had them, let me know because I am ridiculously curious. Lots of ads. And I think the ads are almost the best part of the magazine. Eva Ronstadt kits. 
string art, stuffed animals, more dollhouses. I'm going to start looking at estate sales and seeing if I can find any of these catalogs because I could have some serious fun leafing through them if the price was right. And there's the hundred little dolls. Possibly 20 years after great grandma ordered hers. I think that ad ran in a lot of magazines over a lot of decades. Isn't it amazing how many of the things that are in this old needlework magazine could be on the shelf at Hobby Lobby or Joann's today? Did you see anything that you'd make?